I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And today on the show, we've got many things to talk about, and all of them are interesting. At least I trust you'll find them interesting. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. It's tech. It's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. We're also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. Don't hit your microphone when you're talking. Just a tip for you there. You can go to our website, drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, as it says there, on the screen, and get more information about us and this show. This show embodies the strangeness that is Dr. Bill. Yes. So, we've got a few things we want to talk to you about today. Not the least of which is Aptera. Aptera is on a tear. I didn't mean that as a pun. It was not my intent. But they're doing some cool stuff. So let's look at Aptera. You can go to their website, which is what I'm doing right now, aptera.us, if you want information. Uh, you do have to spell it correctly, however. Another tip. I'm full of tips today. Anyway. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the things that have been happening in the news. We've got news from the Aptera world. Yesterday, that is, just yesterday as I record this, on the 10th, uh, they, uh, 10th of May, okay, Aptera received an award from the Super Crowd Impact Crowdfunder of the Year Award Committee. Yes. Steve Fabro and Chris Anthony, the co-CEOs, were given this award in recognition of the money raised in their crowdfunding effort to fund Aptera to get it actually produced. Which I'm looking forward to because I want a I want the car. I want the solar powered car that they've been promising. And so all of their efforts toward crowdfunding, I am down with. Okay? Now, um, they are also, they also have announced that they're going to integrate the Open Pilot award-winning driver assistance system. It's kind of like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're taking one that is already written and incorporating that into Aptera. So it will be possible for it to be uh, kind of self-driving, so to speak. It's a it's a driver assistance system. So we won't go all the way of saying it is fully self-driving. Besides that, between you and me, I want to drive my car. I don't mind if it helps me, particularly with things like parallel parking. I'm down with that, okay? But I want to drive it. I want to have the fun of driving it. Also, Aptera has uh, got a hair there. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, I know, but that one was in my eye. I don't like that. Anyway, Aptera has also received their first fleet order. Yes, they don't even they haven't produced a car yet. Think about this. <laughs> haven't produced a car yet, and they have their first fleet order. From SustainabilitySooner.com. They're going to have a fleet of Apteras to promote sustainability. I can understand that. So anyway, a fleet order. That's cool. Hopefully some money crossed hands when they did that. And then also in the news, and now in the news, <laughs> California Energy Commission awarded Aptera Motors 21 
million dollars. <laughs> a grant for their solar mobility manufacturing to actually start producing the car. So things are looking up in the Aptera world. I know there was, there's been a lot of naysayers that go, oh, that car will never be produced. You hide and watch. <laughs> I trust they're going to do it. I mean, after all, I've invested in it. I want it to succeed. Not only that, I want the car. You know, all these images I've been showing here of the car in operation, you can see that it's going to be fun. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm behind it, okay? And I'm all for it. So all of this news is good news to me. Now, I also heard, I mentioned on a few shows ago, that the Lightyear car had ceased production. Uh, they may be getting started back. They may be coming out of bankruptcy and starting again on the Lightyear, which is cool. Now, as far as I know, the Scion, these are all solar-powered electric vehicles, the Scion is still dead. <laughs> you know, it's like the old joke on Saturday Night Live many, many, many years ago about Francisco Franco still being dead. Scion is still dead. <laughs> Who knows? If Lightyear can come back, maybe Scion can come back. Who knows? <laughs> but Aptera is still out there alive and kicking. So they're our, our best hope for a sustainable zero emission electric vehicle that is solar powered. Now, all those are good things. Now, I'm not a crazed, tree-hugging environmentalist. I like the environment. I think it's cool. But I am for free mobility. And when I say free, that's there's a caveat there. Obviously, you got to buy the car. But if I can run it off of solar energy, dude, I am very much for that. I mean, the sun is pouring down... Tons and tons of free energy every single day. Let's snag some of that. Okay? And use it to power a car that looks like it'll be fun. I like it. So anyway, I'm all for it. And I'm looking forward to having one. I really do want one. So let's get home with it, Aptera. Let's get that thing produced. Now, toward that end, as you can see how the car kind of comes together as sections... Um, those sections are molded out of carbon fiber. And the carbon fiber molds have been produced over in Europe. And they were taking a tour of the factory recently and saw those molds being made, giant metal molds that are going to produce the carbon fiber shells that will be the exterior of the Aptera. How cool is that? I mean, we're we're talking, they're actually, they're in process. They're making this thing happen. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. And I think the Aptera is awesome. And I just wanted to give you this update of all things Aptera that are happening. Okay, now there's a lot of shows all over YouTube and the web that are talking about Aptera, you can go watch those as well. Uh, some of them I watch on a regular basis. But I just wanted to give you, you know, my viewers, some of the uh, information that I've heard recently that makes me think that this thing's going to happen. It may not be, you know, later this year. <laughs> it may be next year or the year after. I don't know. But I'm looking for it to actually happen. And let's get us some free solar sun juice <laughs> to power the vehicle. I'm for it. So anyway, there you go. So I trust you enjoyed this little update. We're going we're gonna to just keep it short, sweet today. Join me again next time. Remember until the end that the doctor is out of here.
Dr. Bill, the computer for budget, is a production of DrBillDaily.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ding the bell to be notified of future videos.